Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play, right after the first one. Yep, I am Astrath, and I welcome you to this. Swords and Sandals 2, Emperor's Reign. Oh yes, first what we need to do, change the graphics so they look awesome. Anyway, this game was made, I believe, in 2007 by, obviously, proudly presented by Fizzy.com and Third Sense. Another Flash game in the Swords and Sandals series. Okay, so yesterday I completed Swords and Sandals 1. Uh, this game is a lot longer, and there's a lot more to it. So, Prince, it's like Dragon Warrior, really. The first one was like a small, short game. Uh, this one is a lot longer of a game. So, let's see how we do. We are, once again, a gladiator fighting to become the greatest gladiator of all time. So, let's do this. Play the game. Create a new gladiator. Okay, so once again, we start out with a new character. Uh, what are we going to do for this time? Oh, wow, look at him. Look at this pinhead. It, it's literally like a blue pinhead. What else we got? Okay. Whoa. All right. Um, nice ears, buddy. Oh, God. It's like a bull mastiff dog pig thing. Okay. Uh, we've got Link covered in green sludge. What else we got? We got him. Ooh, cool ass lightning bolts. I'm pretty much we got yellow Harry Potter. We've got you. <laughs> Cyclops. I think we're going to go for the Cyclops, I think. Let's see what else we've got. Wow. The Satan. And other Satan. Two Satans in this game. Great. Uh, there's you. There's you. You as well. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Anyway, never mind. I think we're going to go with the Cyclops, I think. I think that will be uh, quite awesome. All right, hairstyles. Let's see what we've got here. We've got that, which makes him look like an idiot. No. No, possibly. No. <laughs> no. 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 Look at all these hairstyles we've got to choose from. We've got so much. Whoa. I think we're going to pick that. That looks quite funny. Wow. Look at that moustache. Look at that. Sideburns in there, stubble. I think I'm going for a big beard, I think, this time. Instead of a mustache. That's a big beard I just saw there. Um, ah, no, that's the beard we want. Color. I think we can go for that. Um, his name shall be, uh, I don't know. He's a cyclops, but he kind of looks like a caveman, if you look like an old caveman. I got it. Let's call him Lord Ugg. Lord Ugg. All right. He's Lord Ugg. So, um, here are our stats. You can see there is one extra one here, which is Magicka. Yep, they introduced Magic in this game. Uh, we're going to go for Strength, uh, Attack. Do you want Strength, Attack, and Vitality? It worked well last time, so see how it does this time. Go, Lord Ugg! Saving character. Prologue enslaved. There you go. Lord Ugg. Lord Ugg. Yes, that was your name. It seems an eternity since anyone has called you that. Yeah, judging from that hair, I'm not surprised. And now here you are, languishing in the darkness, a forgotten prisoner of the Emperor's Dungeon. Great. Ah, a door opens and your eyes are blinded by light. Dark shapes appear before you. Soldiers? No, just shadows. Hey! Get up, you worm! In tones of voice, it is time. Great. Well, get up, come on. You are herded from your cell into an underground arena with several other prisoners. A massive guard in dark armor approaches. You are all here to fight. Those who survive will become gladiators, he says. Handling each of your of you, handing each of you a trusty knife, a rusty knife. There is no alternative, blah blah. And so, in the frenzy of blood and stench of fear. Your days of gladiator begin. So, we were a prisoner. And our first opponent is the fearful prisoner. Okay. So, here's the fearful prisoner's armor and weapons and stuff. He's got none. He's got a knife. He's got a knife. No inventory. Stats, we beat him in every stat. Uh, apart from agility, where we're tied. Trivia. Okay, so he's 5'5", five five, 110 pounds. This poor soul has been rotting in the dungeon for over 20 years. He lost his will to live long ago. And should prove to be no match for you. Okay. 
Alright, so, it's a fight to the death. We kick off with 90 health due to our vitality, and we have 110 energy. Not bad. He has 10 health. We should win this. Same commands as normal, like in the original Swords and Sandals. Um, jump forward, walk forward, walk backwards, jump backwards. All of these drain your energy. Taunt as well, which is very useful, and charge. So, yep. Oh, and he's dead in one hit. Lord Ugg defeats Fearful Prisoner. A gift from the Empress to start you on your way. You receive 2,500 gold, and we've leveled up. Very nice. So, uh, when you level up in this game, you actually gain four skill points instead of three. And that might be because due to the, obviously, the Magicka as well. So, that's great. So, that, that's more stuff for us to work on, really. Do you know what? Let's, let's put some into Magicka, shall we? Um, let's go for attack to an attack. We want to be able to hit. Anyway, day one, glorious freedom. Okay, so very similar at the moment, um, but we've got two new things, the magic shop and the church. Let's go to the magic shop first. Do you want me to enchant a weapon for you? Or are you looking for a magic spell? So in this, you can enchant weapons which deal extra damage and you have potency increases. Uh, so for example, we could get a rusty knife, uh, which adds, th whoa, okay. That's actually quite good due to the fact we don't have a weapon yet. So I'm gonna definitely get that for free. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so pretty much enchant your weapon. You can enchant them with either flame, frost, venom, or wraith. Um, yep, these are all quite good actually. Uh, they can be frozen, burning, uh, poisoned, or uh, drain your opponent's will to live and force them to miss a turn. Wraith is, in my opinion, probably the best one, the easiest one. And then you've got potency. The better your weapon, uh, or is it the better your magic? Either one of the two. Uh, the more extra damage you'll do. Uh, so at the moment, since the rusty knife is crap, we oh, can only get three wraith damage. But I'll take it. Uh, magic spells. You need magic, obviously, to use this. Uh, teleport is the first one we can get. Teleport to a random spot in the arena sands. Costs a lot of money. Not worth it. Uh, we've got loads of others, and we have even more, like Molten Death, which is the best one in the game. Anyway, let's go. Thank you very much. The church! you got this guy here. Welcome. You will find peace here. Do you require church's aid? Or your soul saved? So with this, we can buy things like potions, which again, you need magic to use it. Uh, we can get, like, good health potions and armor vials. Uh, and stamina vials. Obviously, stamina vials increase your, uh, revive your stamina. Uh, health potions revive your health, obviously. Uh, or armor oil, which increases your armor. Or I think maybe replenishes your armor. Also, you can save your character, which costs 20 gold pieces at the moment. Give it time, though. Alright, so, um, one thing that's very, uh, needed in this game, especially at the start of it, is armor. Uh, because... Most of your battles at the start, unless they're uh, arena champion battles and tournaments and stuff like that, they will be uh, sort of fights to draw first blood. Now, how you draw first blood is if you... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If you dr uh, drain all of your opponent's armor. First person to lose all their armor loses. But you don't die, which is great. Anyway, this guy's back. Golden shield guy. What can we get then? Ooh, we can already get the militia boot. Oh, no, we can't. We get the Brigand Boot for 192. I'm taking that. Was it uh, 8 armor? I'll take it. Yeah. Alright, now we have a pair of shoes. Brilliant. Uh, helmets. As you can see, they uh, convert a lot more armor, but they're a lot. Uh, they have a lot more gold this time. And there's a lot more, as you can see. The best one we can get is this one, I believe. The Champion's Helmet. Yeah, the Champion's Helmet. But well, that'll be for level 48. Now, remember at the start, uh, uh, the end of the last game, uh, the highest level I think you could get is level 16. So, yeah. Now, let's see what else we can get. Shoulder guard. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Okay, gauntlets. That's a still a fair amount of money. Greaves? Yeah, Greaves is good. Okay. Let's, let's go for that, shall we? Um, let's enter the arena. I am Arg... Arglas? Arglas, overlord of the arena. What sort of fight are you after, Gladiator? So we can go to a tournament. The next tournament is for Gladiators level 4 and above. We are obviously level 2, so we can't go into that yet. We can go for an ordinary duel. Which is fought between two Gladiators until the blood is drawn. You cannot die in a duel. But a loss in a duel will cost you gold. So if you lose, that's some gold coming out. So that's never good. Anyway, 
Our first pair is juiced. Uh, juiced lost a fortunate investing in squishy stuff. Poor guy. Anyway, so. Uh, he has more max damage. We've got more armor. We've also got more hit points. But hit points don't mean anything at this point. Uh, we've got more strength. More attack. More vitality. More magic. Um, he only beats us in defense. And, uh, and uh, max damage. Because he's got quite a dangerous looking weapon, as you can see there. Spike club. Right, so, let's do this. There's a little meter up here, but we'll talk about that later. It's pretty much just the crowd. Um, and they can do a big deciding factor in, for example, um, like, giving you money and stuff. Oh, wow, I taunted him. And wraith damage with the taunt. Oh, okay, let's do this. No, 90... Yeah, there you go. Lord Ugg. First blood to him. And we level up. Very nice. Okay. We've gained a new ability. Win the crowd. Allows you to gain more gold from fights by insane the crowd. The more charisma you have, the more effective it is. Let's pass him into a charisma and let's do two for strength. Nice. Ooh, okay. The hour is late. And as the town quietens, you find yourself growing weary. Will you brave the streets or spend some gold finding a tavern to rest for the night? So what you could do, you could brave the streets. This will cost you nothing, but there is more chance of things going wrong. You like losing money or something like that. Or you can just find a bed in a tavern. I always like to go for find a bed in a tavern. Um, just so I make sure that I only spend a little bit of money. You make your way to the Cozy Nook, a tavern in the Merchant's Quarter. Paying the innkeeper 120 gold pieces. You are shown a comfortable room with a view of the forest of the east. Your sleep is peaceful and you wake up ready to take on the world again. All right, day two, glorious freedom. All right, so we fought two battles in our first match. In our first day, let's go to another duel, shall we? Oh, God, okay. Good Sir Genghis the Sixth. Genghis the Sixth doesn't seem to mind power walking. Good for him. Uh, he's got more armor and more max damage. Oh, God, we could be in trouble here. Okay, we could be in serious trouble here. Let's, let's attempt to taunt him, at least take some armor away from him. Because obviously we have wraith damage now, which is very useful. But I've not been able to hit with the taunt yet, which is not very nice. Come on. Taunt him. Taunt the bastard. Yes. Keep taunting him. Crowd is bored to tears. That's not my fault. Do you know what? Yeah, win the crowd. As you can see, the meter goes up a bit. Uh, but on the charisma we've got at the moment... It's not really very useful, because it's just going to go back down to nothing. Oh, he's doing it now. Great. Okay, well, I'm going to do it too. I'm going to fight in your general direction. Here we go. Ooh, 11 damage. Not bad. 13, and raid damage. Oh, it's over. It's over for you, good sir. Literally, his name's good sir. Good sir Genghis. Anyway, we have won. Eight crowd appreciation. 100 and, uh, 950 gold. Very nice. Uh, let's check out the weaponsmith, shall we? Right, so, with weaponsmiths, uh, pretty much the same as usual, but you have a new weapon, ranged weapons. These require agility uh, to use, and they're bloody annoying. Anyway, what we got? Swords, we can't use swords yet. Oh, by the way, something to mention. Uh, swords are based on agility as well, so you could be a sword and bow guy, or you could just hack people. So, we've got a cleaver, we've got a hand axe, very nice, and we've got some really cool stuff like the pillum. Great name. I've also got bashing weapons here, including the dual maul. Very nice. So, uh, the hammer does 5 to 15. This does 5 to 20, so this would be the best one to get, but for the moment, I'm going to leave it. Let's keep battling. I'm against Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey has a little bit of armor. Not too much, though. Uh, he has 18 armor. Okay. Uh, Jeffrey goes insane at the mention of long novels. Interesting. Yeah! Alright. So, hooray! So with this, we're at the... Oh, you git. Yeah, I can taunt too. Yeah, run away. Win over the crowd, fight in his general direction. Oh, he didn't like that. He did not like me fighting in his general direction. He did not like that very much. Come on, my Wraith Dagger! Wraith Dagger! Wraith Dagger, yeah! Lord Ugg has won! Jeffrey yields, and we have leveled up. Level four. Right. Uh, more charisma and more strength for things what's needed at the moment. Right. So now we're level four. 
You've reached Gladiator level 4. You cannot duel again until you win the Woolridge Meets Emporium Cup. So, pretty much this is uh, the game saying, uh, do something about it, pretty much. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just save 40 gold pieces now, so it's a lot more now. We're going to enter the arena and see what we get. Now, in a tournament, you take on um, a specific amount of enemies. You've got to go through every single one. So, our first opponent is Baldrick. Uh, Baldrick has, has in the past been disturbed by falling leaves. I hate it. He must hate it when it's in the autumn. Anyway, he has 73 armor, so he's probably going to kick our ass. He does only have, though, 60 health. Which is not bad, actually, to be honest. He's not got that much health. If I could hit him with some wraith damage, that'd be great. Oh, missed. Okay. Hit him! Yeah! Ha! Wraith damage! There goes your turn. And also, you can knock armor pieces off. You knock armor pieces off... That counts towards your armor damage, which is great. Ooh, I'm taking him out. I'm taking him out. He's got a health potion. Okay, I should have maybe seen that coming. Never mind, 17 damage. Here we go, and it's over for Baldrick. We have won. We have beat Baldrick. More gold, very nice. Our next opponent is Mayhu. He seems all right. Uh, Mayhu wrote a novel about strong whiskey. I'm sure a lot of people have done that. Uh, he's got more armor than us. Uh, we do more max... Wow, okay. This guy shouldn't beat us. We do more max damage. Oh, you're going to do that, are you? Okay. Fight in your general direction, mate. Oh, if you want to do that, that's fine. Because I'm going to take the money. It's not going to be you. Yeah! Look at me throw my dagger and catch it in one hand. Look at that. Dancing! Come on, Lord Ugg. No. I'm going to fight in general direction. Okay, so as you can see, the meter's going up, and that's very good if the meter's going up. So that, that's very nice, to be honest. Haha, yes! They are interested now at our combined skills. Oh, he's resting. Get him. Oh, good shot, sir. Wraith damage. No, no wraith damage. Nope. Well, he's dead. I got him! Mayhu is defeated. We get 1,241 gold for that. Very nice. And we have leveled up. Right, I'm going to go for Vitality 2, Attack 1, Strength 1 for this one. Because we are against the champion, John the Butcher. John the Butcher, Woolridge is the pillar of... Uh, yeah, John the Butcher, Woolridge is the pillar of the community. Every year he hosts a tournament for low-level gladiators to gain valuable experience. The winner even gets to take on Woolridge himself for a shot of big prize money. So, we have beaten Mayhew, we have beaten Baldrick. It's time to take out John the Butcher. Yeah! My God, what the hell have you got? All right, so John the Butcher. He has a stamina vial. We need to watch out for that. Uh, he does more max damage. He's got more max damage and more armor, but we do have the hit point advantage. Let's see what we can do here, shall we? Yeah! Take that. Stop sleeping. Also, he has an axe, which is... Uh, it's got uh, venom in it, so that's not nice. Right, come on. Jumping around. Fight your general direction. Yeah, take that, Lord Ugg. You missed. Yeah. Come on, John. You're missing, John. Yeah, dancing around. Hooray. Yeah, well, go on, John. Help me out here. Aha, okay. Attack. Oh, okay. Normal attack. Missed. Normal attack. Yes, 21. Oh, God, 24. Okay. 19. Oh, God, he's doing more damage than me. Ah, Wraith damage. Yes. That's very nice. Come on, we've got this. Wraith damage. Yes. We can do this. We can beat John the Butcher with a dagger. Come on. We got this. Wraith damage again. Ah, oh, Wraith damage. You've worked so well. Lord Ugg defeats John the Butcher, and we beat our first arena champion. Very nice. We have won the Woolridge's Meat Emporium Cup. Emperor Antares has granted you 12,500 gold pieces. Bloody hell, that is good. Very nice. Thank you very much for that one. Day three. We're on to a new chapter now. Learning the ropes. And it's raining. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go for a break here. But in the next episode, let's play Swords and Sandals 2, The Emperor's Reign. Day three. I'll see you then.